if you take an animal that is susceptible to autoimmune diabetes and you give it certain microbes, it will never get autoimmune diabetes. So they wanted to know, like, is this possible in humans? Could the microbes explain the immune system? And so they compared the microbiome of kids from Estonia with kids from Finland, which are right next door, and kids from this specific part of Russia, not the whole country, this specific part of Russia that was like right there on the border of Estonia. And um, they took monthly poop specimens <laughs> from children from birth until three years of age. And the, the discovery was fascinating because um, what they found is that actually the people in Russia, uh, they're less likely to get these diagnoses, they believe, because they actually have this type of E. coli in their microbiome that you and I would refer to as like, that's a bug that causes infections. But because their immune system was exposed to this bug during the first three years of life, their immune system got very comfortable being around different types of bugs. And as a result of that, it didn't um, ever turn and get aggressive like it would be with an allergic or autoimmune, autoimmune disease.